Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack. Welcome back to Let's Replay New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This is part number nine. Um, last time we finished up World 4, we did our first airship level of the game. Won't be the last. Spoilers. <laughs> and now we're into World 5-1. This is the jungle world of the game. Um, this song, I, I'm a big fan of this song, honestly. The jungle world theme is cool. They've, they've definitely brought it back in, like, I think all of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii's games since this. Like, I'm pretty sure it's in you. <sighs> can't believe I did that. The reason I can't believe I did that is because I did that when I was practicing this, and sure enough, I did it again. Really wanted that star, man, but, oh well, it wasn't meant to be. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in two, I'm pretty sure it's in you, and then, well, it's in this, where it originated, so... So there you go, there's all of its instances. Um, I want to talk about, to you about Let's Plays today. I know that's kind of a, I mean, that's what this is, right? But no, I want to, I kind of want to discuss something that I was thinking about before I started recording this, and I was like, this could make for a, a decent little talk. So my good pal, Slim Kirby, he has been, I mean, as of this video, so again, video dated, he has currently been doing a weekend project of his, of Mario Golf for the N64. Uh, if you don't know anything about me, I love the Mario Golf series. Uh, I've beaten all of them. Um, I haven't fully played through the 3DS version, but technically I have beaten it. Um, there's a lot more to do that I still need to play in the game, but I've technically beaten it, and because, because of my I want to play new games thing right now, uh, I kind of just haven't gone back to it since. But that's not really the point. Um, I love Mario Golf, and if you don't know, a while back, I mean, if you've been following me for a long time, you might remember this. I actually tried to do a Let's Play of Advanced Tour, and I'm pretty sure I got so far as uploading videos of it. I'm pretty sure some videos did get uploaded, but have since been removed by me like I removed them because I was like I'm done with this project and it's not working out how I wanted it to so I gave up on it that, that was the GBA one advanced to her and I asked him because he's doing the N64 one and I was like I was like how do you how are you doing it man I was like how like I, I really want to do the advanced game but I just I just couldn't do it it just didn't feel right like whenever I recorded it and he's like he's like honestly man I just did it I just recorded stuff and just Put it in different videos, and I was like, man, I just need to do that. I need to just do it, you know? Cla classic slogan. But but seriously, that's kind of how I'm feeling about this right now. I, like, I just need to do this. Like, a lot of times I'm like, oh man, I should record. Oh man, it's taking forever. But like, all I gotta, like literally, just do it. Just start recording and say stuff. Like, that's that's all Let's Play is. Like, it's not, it's not an impossibility thing to do. Like, I, I made, hundreds of videos of this like in like a year when I first did this you know just just by recording things and saying random crap and honestly like that's what I need to keep doing is just just do it so that's that's really what I'm gonna try to stick to um, and you know honestly down the road I, w I would really like to tackle a, uh, a Mario Golf game probably after Slim finishes his maybe I'll boot up Advanced Tour and give it another shot. Maybe I'll play Toadstool Tour. I don't know. Maybe the Game Boy one, like the first one. I don't really know, but I know that I love like all the Mario Golf games, and I, I want to have at least one project of that game on my channel. And, I, and ideally, I wanted to do one that involved both Advanced Tour and Toadstool Tour. But maybe I could do one with the N64 game and the Game Boy Color game. I, I don't know, but I just, again, I just need to do it. Just need to do it. <laughs> so th so thanks, Slim, for the encouragement. Um, I don't think you knew when you said, when I asked you that, that it was going to inspire me so much, but uh, here I am, uh, now very inspired. So, is that really not taking out the Wiggler? Wiggler just doesn't die. I mean, you can kill him with a Star Man. But, anyway, there is a... Pow block in here. I don't know if you need that to get that star coin. I mean, because we could see it. I, I don't know if you actually need that. You probably don't, but I, I guess that's the point of it. 
So now, this level here is kind of, I don't know, it's... I told you guys in the last video, right, right when we ended it, I'm not like a big fan of this world. And I kind of just stand by that. It's just kind of okay. Like, there's, there's not much... Like, cool, we got giant wigglers. Yeah, they're big cuties and everything, but... Like, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. There's a secret up here that's like a one-up. We don't need it, so I'm not even bothering. But I think the star coin is this way, so... I am gonna bother with this. But yeah, the, the other way you can run up the other side and you can get like a one-up. I don't care about that. All I care about is star coins. We, I don't know if you noticed, but we have 99 lives, so we don't really need extra lives anymore. We're just trying to get all the collectible things. Now this is a mushroom, so I'm gonna big get that. It's like I said, there's no, there's kind of no reason not to have a power up. Especially in this game when they just kind of hand you mushrooms like candy on the overworld itself, so But yeah, we can just finish up this level now. We can just get out of here with its grape soda uh, Lava yeah, that kills you I believe in in New Super Mario Bros. U world 5 or whatever the jungle world is I think it's called soda jungle. I want to say um, I don't think the worlds have names in this game I think they're just World 1, World 2. I don't think they have actual names. I, th I don't think they introduced that until New Super Mario Bros. U. Okay, so you might be noticing that we can't actually get to World 5, 3, and it wants us to do the Fortress next. The only way to move these vines is to go into a level and beat it or die. You can't just go in and cancel, unfortunately, so I already tried this. So after I do this matching game, I'm just going to off-screen until... Um, there's a path that I can get to 5-3. Because <laughs> I don't really want to do the castle, the tower story, and then do 5-3. I just, I just don't want to, so. Come on. I wish there was like some, like maybe you could have like one hint or something. I don't know. Maybe that'd make it a little too easy or something, but. It just seems like, I, I, I feel like I've, I did this once, like got everything once. But like that's so hard to do. Like that's like that's like impossible. So yeah, we're gonna have to take a death on this level. So I'll just meet you back when we can get to World Five Three down there. All right, all it took was one death, and we're good. So now we can move on to Five Three. Now, which level? No, no, no. This isn't the level I'm thinking of. What level is this? Is this the one with the springy dudes? I think it's the one with the springy dudes. Yeah, it is. I don't I can't remember what these guys are called. But, uh, they're interesting. They they move if they can. Otherwise, they go backwards. They can climb up these two. They're, they're very strange enemies. I think if you hit them from underneath, they reverse direction. I think this is completely optional. I don't know why I went down. Oh, okay, because of the Starman. Oh, actually, I don't want the Starman. Yeah, I want this. Because I need to get this star coin up there. I don't think I could get... I don't even get the star coin. Um, well, I can get it without the propeller, but if I would have had the star man, what I'm getting at is I would have I would have went through those guys instead of jumping on them. That's what I was trying to get at. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't have. A, I don't really know what these guys are called, and I don't care to know. <laughs> well, no, I do. <laughs> I would like to know what they're called. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty funny here. <laughs> Just take that guy out, that pipe cannon. <laughs> I don't know why. It, that's just how it is, I guess. That's just what they decided to do. Also, what a weird bonus in this world. I mean, I guess it's not weird to have a sky bonus, but I don't know. It just seems a little weird. Seems out of place for this. You think it'd be like an underground something, something or other. All right, this one here, I don't know if you can tell what we have to do, but... That's it. That's all. Not so bad. Anything in here? No? Just coins? Just coins. 
Alright, so this guy won't move, so we gotta do that. I mean, we don't have to, but... That's, that's what they want you to do. So that's what I did. I probably could have taken that guy out first before I went and got that star coin, but it wasn't a big deal. Those were, like, really close to each other. Like, like really close. I don't know why. Like, this second and third star coin? They are like, back to back. I feel like they could have spaced those out a bit. I think there was also another hidden block there to move that guy. But, I mean, whatever. That was more than enough. We didn't need anything else. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we can get to the fortress. No, they're, actually the vines won't block you up here. Yeah, this world just... The the world layout of this, like, it's kind of like the first world where it's left to right. Um, which I know world three is left to right too, but it also has, like, the part where you go up and it has that single screen. Th this world's just, like, boring world one again, basically. Just, like, with annoying vines getting your way. I just... Ugh. This, this world is, ugh. <laughs> just get it over with. I just want this world over with. So, this this first tower here, I mean, the tower of World 5, is, uh, just back and forth with, uh, these spiky walls. I don't think the star coins are too hard to find here. I think they're pretty obvious, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we're gonna miss any. Oh, was that it down there? Did I actually miss one? I saw a coin down there. Uh oh. I'm nervous now. <sighs> Dang it. I I just played this too. No, those are just regular coins. Okay. I like just played this. Like again, I, I pre-played this. I should know better. No, okay. Don't fall for anything. No, the, the star coins are obvious in this. They are not hard to get at all. Okay, I gotta stop worrying. I'm, I'm, I'm positive they are, yeah. They are, they are not, like, you would think that they would hide some, like, I mean, I guess they kind of hit that one, but not really. You have to wait for the wall anyway, so, like I said, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Just, just don't overthink it. That's all I gotta do, not overthink it. Okay. For some reason, I, th I think there is one where you kind of have to go up like this, so that's where I, I guess I thought it was right away. Yeah, but this castle, I kind of some uh, kind of some Bowser's Castle vibes um, from Mario World. There, I think there's a section. I think it's a swimming section. You go up, and the spike walls close in on you on left and right. I want to say. Uh, I don't think. I mean, there's Morton's Castle that kind of goes left and right, but I don't think it's quite the same thing. No, I, I don't think so. But thankfully, as you get up, higher up here. This doesn't take, like, it goes faster, so you don't have to wait as long. Yeah. I think this is the end, isn't it? I think we're, like, right at the end. If not, very close. There's, there's not much left. This is a relatively quick tower, honestly. If you kind of just go up and don't worry about anything, it's kind of over before you know it. Like, yeah, we're at the top. So... Obviously, we need a mushroom to get this last star coin. Break these blocks just to kill some time while I'm waiting. Because I decided this would be a good idea to wait around. And then I think there's a fire flower here or something. Yeah. So we're going to get to fight Iggy. Iggy is, uh, he's kind of boring. This, this, uh, this tower fight of Iggy. He's just kind of... Jumps around. I mean, he's funny, right? He's spanking his booty, but he just kind of jumps around and shoots his wand. There's not much to this first fight. I mean, he's Iggy. I mean, in Mario World, he's the first boss, you know? Like, but you know what? I have a soft spot for Iggy. For some reason, he's always been my favorite. I don't know why. I don't know. I just think he's cool. I mean, he's not really that cool. He's pretty lame, but I don't, I like him, so. He's he's my favorite Koopaling. It's kind of like out of, like, nostalgia. You know, you just kind of like something from way back when, and you have kind of just have it in your mind that, oh, yeah, I like that thing. That's, that's kind of how I am with Iggy Koopa here. I just, I like him, because I always have, so. All right, well, that's going to do it for part nine. That was pretty quick. The rest of this world kind of, oof. Part 10, I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> I'll say that. 
Oh, the sooner we are out of this world, the better. All right, guys, well, I want to thank you for watching. It's been fun. I will see you next time for part 10 where we finish off world five. So until then, take care and goodbye.